But however much technology may advance, no electronic systems have been anything more than primitive copies of the eye. Before taking a photograph, the first thing you should do is focus the image to make it clear and sharp. In the eye, our lens adjusts itself according to its distance from the object we're looking at. With a camera, and also on instruments like microscopes and telescopes, adjustments must be done by hand, unless the machine is automatic. While this process takes place, the picture in the camera's viewfinder becomes blurred. In each instance, this focusing takes some time. In the human eye, however, focusing takes far less than a second, without causing any blurred vision, using a method that no technology can copy. The lens, situated immediately behind the iris and the pupil, breaks down incoming beams of light and focuses them on the retina. With the aid of muscles surrounding it, the lens is able to change shape, allowing it to adjust itself according to the angle light comes in, ensuring it is always directed onto the retina. When you look at a point close to your eyes, muscles flex your lens into a more convex position. But when you view a distant point, the muscles relax, stretching the lens into a flatter configuration and thus clarifying the images of distant objects. Perfectly clear images emerge as a result. If the lens couldn't adjust by itself, we'd have to find some other means to focus in on objects. This would require manual effort and great inconvenience on our part, since our vision would often remain foggy before we could complete the focusing process. Simply looking at an object would take time, slowing down our lives considerably. But when we do want to focus on an object at a certain distance, we need not make any measurements or optical calculations. To see, all we need to do is look. Everything else is done for us by the eye and the brain, automatically. The lenses used in cameras reach their present level of technology after years of research. These devices gradually age, go wrong, and require spare parts, however. Besides, cameras are produced by expert technicians in special factories using many different materials. The eye, on the other hand, forms in the mother's womb as the result of the division of a single cell and performs its functions perfectly throughout a person's life. If you tie a camera atop your head and run or walk while filming, the resulting image will bear traces of shaking and slippage. Yet as you walk or run, your eyes which register images just like two cameras fixed to your head, never make you feel uncomfortable. There is never any shaking or slippage in the images you see. All these comparisons clearly reveal the miraculous proofs of creation in the eye. God has created human being with a flawless order, together with all the systems it requires. Say... It is he who brought you into being and gave you hearing, sight, and hearts. What little thanks you show. Throughout the course of this film, you have witnessed how opening and closing one's eyes and interpreting and remembering what one sees all come about, 
Up until now, you may never have thought about what a great miracle all these things are. Yet this system continued to function, without your being aware of it, throughout this film you have just watched, just as it has from the day you were born. Every single detail, from the transparency of the lens to the way the image is reversed as it falls on the retina, from the production of tears in just the right quantity to the nerves leading to the brain, reveals to us a matchless creative artistry. The evident truth is that the eye is the work of a superior intellect. That incomparable intellect belongs to God, Lord of the world. God's might is unbounded. That is God, your Lord. There is no God but Him, the Creator of everything. So worship Him. He is responsible for everything. Imagine for a moment that you had lost your eyes. Your long list of lifetime plans and ambitions will be sidelined by just one wish to regain your lost eyesight. If your eyes can see at this very moment, think again about what a great blessing this is. He has given you everything you have asked him for. If you tried to number God's blessings, you could never count them. Man is indeed wrongdoing, ungrateful.